Tequila Avion may have burst onto the scene on the heels of HBO's Entourage, but it's more than Hollywood magic that makes it the best of the best. First, when we actually pick our agave, we only use the best agave from the highlands in Jalisco and Jesus Maria, the town where we actually created Avion. Um, secondly, we slow roast our agave in brick ovens only. We don't use autoclaves, which are like giant microwave ovens, which many companies do to cut costs and cut corners. And the third thing is we actually filter Avion in a very unique way using our proprietary filtration system that takes all the burn out of Avion and you don't make that tequila face when you drink Avion. What different brands or varieties of tequila Avion do you have? Because there are a few different ones. Sure, we have Avion Silver, which is this one. Uh, we have Reposado, which is, means rested in Spanish. Um, and what that means is you take your silver, you put it into American oak barrels, and most te uh, tequila companies put it in the oak barrels for two months. We put our Reposado in the barrels for six months to give it more flavor and uh, oakiness and smoothness. And then we have Avion Añejo, uh, which typically is aged for a year in those American oak barrels, but we age it for two years. And it really, that is nectar of the gods, Avion Añejo. How have you seen the premium tequila category expand over the past few years? The premium category in tequila really has expanded dramatically. People now know, you know, growing up, most people had a bad tequila experience growing up because there really wasn't good tequila. Today, tequila is made in a much different way, and many people care about the product versus just looking to do volume and sell it at a cheap price. Um, so there's been a huge amount of growth, up about 6% uh, this year alone in the ultra-premium category, which Avion resides in. Tequila Avion had an amazing rollout because it was linked to the HBO show Entourage, but how do you take it forward from here? Yeah, I mean, Entourage was a great launch pad for this brand, and to this day, um, six out of ten people still think Avion is a fake brand. They think it was made for TV, and in fact, we were working for, on it for years uh, when Doug Allen decided to put it on the show. Um, and uh, it's, there are many things we need to do going forward to continue to really tell the story get people to taste this product, to understand that Avion is different. It doesn't burn, it's delicious, and you, you don't use the words tequila and delicious together, but you do with Avion. So the, the real key going forward is to get people to try it. We call it liquid on lips, and that's what it's really about. And as for the best way to drink tequila Avion? It really depends on you and your palate and what you're looking for. You know, in many cases, people drink tequila as shots. Uh, because it's all about celebration and people want to sort of get the night going or keep the night going. Uh, so about 50% of tequila is consumed in a shot form. Um, and then there are many other ways, in a delicious margarita where I use Avion Reposado, um, or if you really want to just take Avion Añejo and put it into a brandy snifter, maybe with one ice cube to bring out the aroma and the flavor, uh, and enjoy it the same way you would enjoy a fine single malt scotch. So there really are different ways depending on you, your mood, and your palate. Um, the good news is, is that there's no bad way uh, to enjoy Avion.